Welcome to Unity Tips and Tricks. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use uh, movie textures inside of your scene in Unity. Now, unfortunately, this only works in Unity Pro, so if you have the basic version, you're kind of out of luck. Unity supports a lot of the basic movie types that you're probably familiar with, which are .move, .mpeg, and so forth. And you can import them pretty much the same way you do other assets. So here's a previous video. I can just actually drag from Chrome right here into the project. And this takes a while, so let's get past it. And now let's grab a second video from somewhere else. And skip past that. After you've imported these videos, it's probably a good idea to come in here and select them just to make sure that they play as you'd expect in the preview. That seems okay, and this one looks good too. Let's create a couple of objects to apply our videos to. Start with the plane, and let's get a little bit crazier with the sphere. Let's get our objects lined up in front of the camera. To do this, we'll look in the game view since that's pretty much what the camera is seeing. And then we're going to select our objects and do all, all our editing over here inside the inspector. I'll start by zeroing this out with the reset and making it face the camera. Let's scoot it over a little bit. That looks pretty good. Same treatment for the sphere. Turn that out. Let's get it to be a reasonable size, and we'll scoot that over. But now the sphere looks kind of weird because of the uh, perspective distortion of the camera. We can fix this by actually using orthographic uh, projection right here. But now they're small, so let's uh, crank this size down to something a little better. There we go. We can now apply our videos just like any other material or texture. Moving back to the scene, just drag and drop. To get these videos to play, we'll need to control them from a script. We'll call this Video Controller. Movies in Unity are really just textures that change over time. So we can access them much in the same way. If we say Renderer, dot material dot main texture that's where it lives but here we'll want to reference this as the object that it really is so we'll need to do the cast to movie texture and store it in a movie texture object so let's play it and see what it looks like okay so it's working, but it has a couple of problems. It's upside down and it's kind of dark. So let's take care of those things. We'll select each object and go to its shader. Now diffuse applies lighting, which is not what we want. So we'll select unlit texture and do the same for the plane. We can easily move this plane right side up by modifying some of its texture properties. So instead of going from bottom to top, we're going to go from top to bottom. One being the top, and the tiling you can think of as direction will go the opposite. So this looks a lot better now. Aside from the aspect ratio being incorrect, the only thing we're missing now is audio. First, we'll add some audio sources to our objects. And now let's go back to our script. If we wanted to make sure we had an audio source in the future, something we probably should have done to start with is say, require component type of audio source. Now anybody that uses this script in the future will have this automatically added if it's not there already. Now that we have an audio source, what we can do is make sure that we use the audio clip from the movie as the clip we're going to play in our audio component. So we'll say movie.audioclip 
and then we just play them both. So that's all you guys need to get started with video. Thanks for watching.